Hotel that uh, is being developed at the moment in a very historic building in York. It's what was the original railway headquarters, the Northeastern Railway Company. Uh, we took it over just over a year ago and have embarked in conjunction with English Heritage upon uh, converting it to York's first five-star hotel. We will have 107 bedrooms, which will include 13 suites and a penthouse suite on the top floor. It'll have, probably quite unusually, a marquee facility, which is probably very rare for a city centre hotel to have a marquee and that will seat 300 people and supporting that will be a boardroom and a series of five additional meeting rooms. So capacities between 10 to 20 people in the smaller rooms all the way up to 120 in the boardroom. So probably one of the biggest boardrooms in the country. And then we'll have a restaurant, bar and uh, as I say 107 bedrooms. I think for us to stand out and to really differentiate ourselves from all the other hotels in the region, um, we will have a number of signature aspects of our service that I think will really stand out. Probably most notably, we'll have a team of butlers. So once you've arrived in your room, you'll have a knock on the door and your butler will announce that he's here to look after you for the rest of your stay. And uh, anything from running your bath to fetching you a book for your bedtime read, uh, I think that'll be uh, quite a differentiation to everybody else in York. I think at a time when a lot of people are being very cautious about spend, I think it's important that we do make it very clear we've invested 20 million pounds in this project. That's the overall investment, but beyond that we'll also be a significant employer in the region as well, and that's certainly our intention to, to employ locally. We're very close to the city centre, you come out of the railway station and we're literally between the railway station and the city centre, so just very close to the river. I think York's been looking for a five-star hotel for a long time. I think a lot of people are surprised it doesn't have one already. As a, as a city, it's one of the most popular destinations outside of London. And I think having seen the city evolve over the last number of years, both culturally, uh, in terms of its shops, its tourism attractions, it, it really does need a hotel at the top tier. And you talk to a lot of the people in the locality and they're very, very supportive of the project. And uh, I think it's, it's a great ambition for the city. This will be Cedar Court's first five-star hotel, so it's certainly a very new direction for the group, but it brings a flagship property to the, to the team. I think uh, the, these, these next few months are going to pass very, very quickly. Um, we've got a lot of things to accomplish in terms of in, in recruiting a team um, and, and putting all the finishing touches to the, to the entire hotel. But in between that, there are some significant dates I guess such as we'll be launching our own website in January so I hope everybody will keep their eyes open for that um, and we will then start obviously drawing interested partners in to see the project as we progress.